Joining me to answer questions today, Dr. Jim Mark, Director of Cleveland Clinic's Emergency Medicine West Region. Thank you so much for being here this sure, morning. No I know you're Thanks busy, so we really appreciate your time. So with all the business closures that are going on right now, you know, do you think with the spread that we're doing right now, is it enough to halt this or is there more that still needs to be done? Well, we hope so, right? Um, first, I would say I think Ohio has been pretty proactive about it, and obviously a lot of things have closed. Um, I think the next step is it's up to the public and all of us to honor those requests, right, to practice the social distancing and not uh, go out and do all the things that we're being asked not to do. Right? But people still want to go, and there are people that still want to go and do things, and they might say, well, the flu. You know, can you just explain to everyone the difference? Because I still feel that that's out there. You know, why is this different than the flu? Yeah, it's probably one of the more common things. People are like, isn't it just a, you know, another form of the flu or worse form? And I think you have to realize that the flu has been out there and we've had multiple episodes of the flu. So lots of people have immunity to the flu, right? No one has immunity to coronavirus, right? So the effect can be a lot greater and it can spread a lot further um, and it will affect people without disease as well as people with chronic disease, right? So we definitely need to try to restrict <coughs> restrict things as much as we can. Mm -hmm. So we first thought that this could last through April. Now we're hearing July. I mean, you know, could it be that long? How long are we looking at this? It, it could be, right? And, and part of the idea of the social distancing is that we flatten that curve that everyone talks about, right? So we don't have this huge spike of um, illness all at once. But as we flatten the curve, it also lengthens how long it goes on, um, which is good for the healthcare system and for the community because we're able to take care of people that way. But yes, I do think it could go for quite a while. Watching Governor DeWine yesterday, you know, a lot of talk about when should you go to the ER? When do you think you should get tested? You know, when should you go? When should you stay home? I, so obviously there's a lot of fear out there, right? right? And so if you have symptoms that are relatively mild, if you have cough or congestion or fever, most of those things you should stay home and self-quarantine yourself mm -hmm. and stay away from other people, okay? If your symptoms get worse, if you start to become really ill, if you become really short of breath, those types of things, you should come to the ER, right? Other than that, you should probably not because you may be exposed to something while you're in the ER, mm -hmm. or you might expose other people. Including doctors. Yeah, I mean, we, need, we need you. I mean, we can't have you guys getting sick, certainly. Visitor policy at Cleveland sure. Clinic, can you explain that to everybody? Yeah, so the clinic is trying to do its part in helping protect the caregivers at the clinic, the patients, and the community, right? So uh, we're now restricting visitors to one visitor. Um, with anybody that comes in um, and no one after uh, in the overnight hours and also no one under the age of 16. Um, obviously we don't like to have to do that. We'd love for everyone to have their family with them, but we really feel like it's the best thing for everyone. Dr. Jim Mark, thank you so much. I mean, this is excellent answer is really helping the community and we appreciate you being here today. And to get the latest coronavirus information and updates, right to your phone, text the word fax to 216-344-3300 and we will send you a direct link to our in-depth coverage. That's a text, remember, not a phone call. Holly, I don't know about you, but mm -hmm. uh, I, I feel a little better hearing some of this information because yes. there's just so much stuff out there yes. and it's good to get that info. Yes, and, and to get the facts. The facts, Because I right. think we're seeing so much even on social media and then you question things, so uh, we'll have the doctor here and thankful for him today for sure, Dave.